The last thing we need is blind, lazy, and uninformed optimism. It is absolutely imperative. Indeed, it is our moral obligation to be optimistic based on reason and by facing facts. Intelligent optimism implies being excited about what science and technology have to offer. It means being optimistic about the future, but in an informed and rational way. Intelligent optimism is also the theme of SciFest Dubai. One of the aims of the festival is to create an awareness of the benefits of science and the positive impact the scientific method has had on human society. The hope is to inspire a sense of critical wonder and serious awe about the universe we live in and our attempts to make sense of it. So, just why should we be optimistic about the future? Well, Steven Pinker points out that we are now living longer, healthier, wealthier, safer lives than at any point in the history of our species. Yes, there will be those who will point to the terrible events of the 20th century. Indeed, during that time, we had wars, hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis, fires, floods, and plagues of locusts. However, during that time, we also saw a 90% decrease in infant mortality, a 99% decrease in maternal mortality, and a 100% increase in the average human lifespan. During that time, we have massively increased our access to goods and services, transportation, information, education, medicines, means of communication, democratic institutions, and human rights. We have made massive strides in the rights revolution. Rights for children, civil rights, rights for women. We treat our animals more compassionately and we treat our criminals more compassionately than we did in the past. Slavery, torture, and human sacrifice as state-sponsored practices have almost all but disappeared. The fact is, we're now living in the safest, most peaceful era in the history of our species. Your chance of being murdered at the hands of another human being are at its lowest, lower than it has ever been. In previous centuries, we had on average 100 murders per 100,000 people in a given population. Today, in many parts of the world, we have on average just one murder per 100,000 people. That is a hundredfold decrease in the murder rate. Now, the United Nations describes a serious conflict as any conflict with over 1,000 deaths on average per year. By that measure, in 1990, we had over two dozen serious conflicts. But by 2013, the number of serious conflicts was down to just seven. It would seem as if we are losing our appetite for war. Consider this, colonial wars have disappeared. The number of interstate wars has reduced. And the number of civil wars is at its lowest. Intelligent optimism implies recognizing these important statistics and facts. Now, if you look at 1950, the average number of deaths per conflict was 37,000. But in 2013, the average number of deaths per conflict was 600. Now, these are not just facts and statistics I'm pulling out of a hat. These are facts based on United Nations reports. And the fact is, we're now living in what is being described as the long peace. This is the longest period of time that has passed without the world powers going to war. Intelligent optimism is not about looking at the world through rose-tinted glasses. It's not about taking a Pollyanna approach to things and pretending everything is okay. The aim of intelligent optimism is to make an honest appraisal of the state of the world by facing facts, both good and bad. Yes, there are wars. Yes, poverty exists. Yes, people kill each other. No one is saying the world is perfect. 
But what we are seeing is that things are getting better, and advances in science and technology will continue to make the world a better place to live in. So, for those of you who still haven't bought into this idea of intelligent optimism, consider the following facts. World literacy is at its highest, higher than it has ever been. The number of people living in extreme poverty has been halved, and the advances we've made in medical science simply beggars belief. For instance, we have vaccines now to protect us against a host of diseases, including hepatitis, measles, mumps, rubella, rabies, polio, anthrax, diphtheria, smallpox, chickenpox, typhoid, tetanus, tuberculosis, whooping cough, and yellow fever, to name just a few. <laughs> the, the fact is, with the decoding of the human genome, information technology is now, sorry, with the decoding of the human genome, medical science is an information technology. And like all information technologies, it will continue to grow at an exponential rate. That's great news for us. Unfortunately, we get our news from newspapers which are filled with bad news. Intelligent optimism is a way to counter this negative bias in the media about our species. The aim is to encourage people to be proactive about making the world a better place. The hope is to inspire people to recognize the tremendous potential humans have to overcome barriers, find solutions, and solve problems using the scientific method because that is what we do best. There are remarkable scientists out there achieving remarkable things. There are tremendous advances being made in the fields of genetics, nanotechnology, robotics, quantum computing, and neuroscience. The future is incredibly exciting. And as we make our way into this exciting future, it is imperative that we embrace the values of the Age of Enlightenment and foster a human society based on reason. We must encourage our children to value the scientific method and cultivate a scientific de temperament and a questioning spirit of inquiry. We must encourage our youth to be curious, for at heart, humans are dreamers and explorers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Imaginary Foundation says, think of an exciting, ecstatic, desirable future and pull the present forward to meet it. It is not enough for us humans to create beautiful poetry and exquisite paintings and delightful symphonies. Let us also create the kind of future we want. Let us be architects of a better tomorrow. Sci-Fest Dubai is part of that endeavor. Thank you very much.